the scientist doesn't study nature because it is useful to do so. He studies it because he takes pleasure in it and he takes pleasure in it because it is beautiful. Let's do the beautiful. In the previous experiment, we have already performed the boiling point of an organic compound. Now, we are going to perform one more experiment which is again a characteristic of a compound. Let's determine the melting point of an organic compound. The apparatus required for the experiment are a beaker, a clamp stand, a wire gauze, a tripod, a burner, a thermometer, a petri dish, a capillary tube and a micro spatula. The chemical required for the experiment is an organic compound which we have already shifted to the petri dish with the help of a micro spatula. Take a capillary tube, seal one of its end by inserting it into flame and don't forget to rotate it continuously. Now, this sealed capillary tube is filled with the chemical, that organic compound which you need to determine the melting point. Now we have this filled capillary tube. This we need to tie it along with the thermometer. Now fix this thermometer along with the filled capillary tube in the clamp stand and lower it into water which is already there in the beaker. And start heating the beaker containing water. Keep a close eye on the thermometer as well as on the capillary tube and note down the temperature when the substance starts melting down. We have just noticed that the melting point of the given organic substance is 80 degrees Celsius. Now we can define melting point. It is the temperature at which the substance changes from solid state to liquid state at one atmospheric pressure. So we infer that the melting point of given organic compound is 80 degrees Celsius. Some points to remember. A pure substance melts at a definite temperature and has a sharp melting point while an impure substance has a wide range. Melting point determination can be used to identify a substance by comparing its melting point to the standard values of melting point of different compounds given in the literature. Melting point of a substance decreases due to the presence of impurities in it. After measuring the physical constants like boiling point and melting point, next we'll take up crystallization. Hope to see you again.